Hey, why not? Como están? What's up, everyone? What's up? De eso hablaremos hoy. That's what we're going to talk about today. What's up? Yeah. What is up? Literalmente hablaremos de que hay arriba. Okay, now you're just confusing me. What are we talking about today? What is up? Que hay arriba. Oh, what's up? Oh, the sky. Well, there's the sun, the moon, the stars, clouds, airplanes, Calmate. birds, and... Slow down. Vayamos al Observatorio de los Why Nots. Let's talk more about what is up in the sky in the Why Not Skywatch Observatory. You all ready? Listos? So everyone knows what this is. This is the sky. But what are some of the things we observe in the sky? ¿Qué podemos ver en el cielo? Well, during the day, the sun, el sol. The sun is actually a star at the center of our solar system. El sol es una estrella en el centro de nuestro sistema solar. Do you know why the sun is so important? El sol no está luz para poder ver. The sun gives us light so we can see, and heat so the planet is warm enough for life. Y también nos da calor suficiente para vivir. You've probably observed that the sun moves in the sky. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. El sol sale por el este y se mete por el oeste. Eso es un patrón, or pattern. A pattern is a regular and repeating way in which something occurs. Un patrón es una forma regular y repetitiva en que algo pasa y nos ayuda a predecir cosas. Patterns help us predict things. Every morning, the sun comes up. Every evening, the sun goes down. The moon appears in a predictable pattern as well. Just like the sun, the moon rises in the east and sets in the west. La luna también aparece con un patrón. Sube por el este y se va por el oeste. A moon is any natural object that travels around another natural object, like a planet. Una luna es un objeto natural que viaja alrededor de otro objeto natural. Our moon travels around the Earth. Nuestra luna viaja alrededor de la Tierra. So, I have a question for everyone. Do you think the moon gives off its own light? ¿Creen que la luna tiene su propia luz? This might surprise you, but the answer is no. We see the moon thanks to the sun. La luna no tiene luz propia y no nos da luz. You may have heard of the word moonlight, but that light is really just a reflection of sunlight. Look, when I shine a flashlight on this ball, it's bright and white, but it's not giving off any light. La luna solo refleja la luz del sol, and while it may look like the shape of the moon changes, it doesn't. Y aunque parece que su forma cambia, no lo hace. The appearance of the moon changes because our view of it changes. A full moon is when the side of the moon facing the Earth can be seen completely. A whole bright circle in the sky. And then it changes a little every night until you get to a new moon. That's a time when you can't see the moon at all. Estos patrones y formas predecibles que observamos al ver a la luna son lo que conocemos como fases de la luna. These predictable patterns and shapes we see when looking at the moon are what's known as the phases of the moon. And they repeat every month. Remember, you can all observe the sky anytime you want. Recuerden que pueden observar el cielo en cualquier momento, pero nunca miren al sol directamente. Just also remember, you should never stare directly into the sun. And now we're going to talk about weather. Weather is what's going on outside right now. Weather is the state of the air all around us at any given time. El estado del tiempo es el estado del aire que nos rodea. We describe weather as a combination of temperature, wind, sunlight, clouds, and precipitation. Y es la combinación de temperatura, viento, luz del sol, nubes, y precipitación. Precipitation is water that falls from the clouds and reaches the ground. It can be rain, snow, sleet, or hail. La precipitación puede ser lluvia, nieve, agua nieve, o granizo. And weather can affect outdoor activities. Oh, yeah! My soccer practice was canceled the other day because of the rain. Have you ever had to change your plans because of the weather? That's just one way weather can affect our days. Weather can definitely influence what we wear on any given day. El estado del tiempo puede influenciar nuestros días y cómo nos vestimos. Kenneth, why are you dressed like that? Well, you said weather can influence what we wear, so I wanted to be ready. What kind of weather do you think I'm dressed for? You look like you're ready to go to the North Pole. Pero es un día hermoso. Ya sé. Ahora no hace frío. 
maybe this wasn't the right choice for today, but the weather can be different every day. I have a great idea. Let's head to the simulator to learn how we can describe weather. Not it. Not it! I need to get out of all this cold weather clothing. Sofia, it's your turn to get into the simulator. Muy bien. Vamos al simulador. No problem. It'll be fun. Let's head there now. One way to describe the weather is through temperature, temperatura, or how hot or cold the air is. When the air has a lower temperature, we can describe it as cold, like a cold winter's day. Can you think of something that might be cold? Okay, yeah. Esto se siente frío. I feel like I'm turning into a popsicle. Casi como un helado. Can it? I might need that jacket you had on earlier. When the air has a higher temperature, we describe it as hot, like a hot summer day. Can you think of something that might be hot? Wow, ahora está caliente. Cancel that jacket, I'm burning up in here. Cool and warm are in between hot and cold. Cool is closer to cold and warm is closer to hot. Okay, I can handle this. Lo fresco y lo tibio están entre lo caliente y lo frío. Ya está más tibio, que rico. Another way to describe weather is through cloud coverage, or how cloudy it is. When there are no clouds in the sky, we describe it as clear. Or you can just say, Sunny! It's so nice in here. Puedes decir que el cielo está claro cuando no hay nubes. Partly cloudy is a mix of sun and clouds. Ahora está poco nublado. O sea, hay algunas nubes. Still not bad. Cloudy is when there are more clouds than sun. Ahora está nublado, o sea, hay más nubes. I love clouds. That one looks like a bunny. Well, to me a little bit. And then overcast, when the sky is almost completely covered with clouds, o sea, con muchas nubes. Makes me want to curl up and read a book. Okay, it's about to get more interesting, because next up, we're talking about different types of precipitation. Sophia, you might need this. Oh, thanks, but what do I need this for? Oh, you'll see. Precipitation can be in the form of rain. Wow, ya entendí. Esa es precipitación en forma de lluvia. Hail, small balls of ice that often fall from clouds during thunderstorms. Oigan, esas son bolas de hielo, granizo. I knew hail was coming, so I found shelter for that. You do not want to be outside when it hails. Or sleet. Rain that freezes as it falls to the earth. Esto es agua nieve. Lluvia que se congela al caer a la tierra. Can we go back to warm and sunny? Not yet. Next is snow. Oh, snow! Nieve! My favorite. Makes me want to build a snowman. What's your favorite type of precipitation? ¿Cuál es su tipo favorito de precipitación? Well, as much as I'd love to watch Sofia play with simulated snow all day, there's someone I want you all to meet. Sofia, it's time to go. Let's go. Vámonos. Hey, everyone. Since we've been talking about different types of weather, I'm super excited to introduce you to Nestor Flecha, Chief Meteorologist from Telemundo, and Patricia Sanchez, Meteorologist at the National Weather Service. Hello, Why Not? We're so excited to be here. So, can you tell us about your jobs? What do meteorologists do? Well, essentially, we just try to predict the future all the time, right? We only observe, we forecast, and we try to understand what's happening out there. How do meteorologists predict the weather, and what tools do they use? Well, we predict the weather using math, essentially, right? But we use a lot of computers to make those predictions. But at the same time, we're relying on satellites to observe what's happening, weather stations, radars. And in addition to all of that, we have to be able to create graphics to explain what the weather is going to be like so that todo el mundo pueda entender. Why is it important to know about thunderstorms before they happen? Thunderstorms can produce tornadoes, hail, really strong winds. So it's really important for you to know when those thunderstorms are going to happen so that you can be prepared before they arrive. So where can you work as a meteorologist? There's actually a lot of places you can work as a meteorologist. As a forecaster, as a scientist, even, you know, weather broadcast, or and even on, on a TV. port or an airplane. There's a lot of places you can work as a meteorologist. ¿Cuál es su parte favorita de su trabajo? What is your favorite part of your job? 
To me, it's just being the cool science teacher on TV. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Mi parte favorita es ayudar a la gente a entender la, las condiciones del tiempo y predecir el futuro. Es super cool. Es super super cool trying to figure it out what's going to happen in the future about weather. Thank you so much for joining us today, Nestor and Patricia. And thank you for teaching us about meteorology. Por supuesto, claro. Weather can change from season to season as well. Seasons are another pattern we can observe. Otro patrón que entender son las estaciones del año. Summer, verano, is typically the warmest season of the year. Es la estación más cálida. Summer has the most daylight and the trees are full of leaves. After summer comes fall, otoño. The weather gets cooler, es más fresco. The days are getting shorter and the leaves are usually falling from the trees. After fall comes winter, invierno. Winter is the coldest season of the year. Es la estación más fría del año. There is the least amount of daylight and the leaves have usually all fallen from the trees. After winter comes spring, primavera. The weather is warming up, empieza a calentarse otra vez. The days are getting longer and the leaves are showing up on the trees again. After spring comes summer again and the pattern repeats every year. What is your favorite season? ¿Cuál es su estación favorita del año? What? Me gusta mi abrigo. You gotta be ready. Okay, I guess I'm good for now. We'll be right back with the Why Not Pop Quiz. Regresaremos para las preguntas. Okay, Why Nots, pop quiz time. So, what is weather? Weather is the state of the air all around us. ¿Qué significa el estado del tiempo? Es el estado del aire que nos rodea. And what does a meteorologist do? A meteorologist studies patterns in the weather and makes predictions that help us make decisions to keep us safe from severe weather. Un meteorólogo estudia los patrones del estado del tiempo para ayudar a predecirlo. Weather patterns change over the course of the year. What are some other things that change from season to season? The amount of daylight, the leaves on the trees, or even how we dress. Sí, los patrones del estado del tiempo, como las estaciones o la luz del día, cambian durante el año. We did it! Great job, Why Nots! And remember, if you ever want to learn more about something, don't be afraid to ask why or... Why, why not? not? ¿Por qué no?